Hey guys, what's going on? I took the liberty of making some notes on Celsius's town hall last night that they had so that you don't have to go through and watch the entire two hour town hall meeting. So the first thing that they mentioned was that they're going to be reconvening in two weeks. The UCC is. For those of you that don't know what the UCC is, it's a committee of unsecured creditors. Uh, it's a committee of lawyers, bankers, and businessmen. And all of these people are currently being paid by the Celsius Treasury, which takes money away from you as an unsecured creditor. Recently, they told Alex Mashinsky that he needed to go. They basically told him, look, you need to step down. And so that's why we saw him resign this week. It wasn't because he wanted to by any means. They basically told him, look, it is in the company's best interest if you go. The UCC is currently working with Celsius to cut costs as a business so that they're not operating at such a net loss because every single dollar that is spent on the company is taken away from you as an unsecured creditor. The UCC views the account holders as the only creditors that matter at this point. They are really focusing on account holders for Celsius as the people that matter in this case. They're not really worried too much about those that have equity. They're currently looking at potential sales, evaluating the mining business as a potential plan for reorganizing and restructuring, and the bankruptcy case will still go forward regardless of any of these outcomes. With that being said, sales could be for very specific assets in the treasury or with the mining business. They could end up potentially selling the entire mining business. They really don't know. There hasn't been a plan put in place yet that is going to determine the absolute outcome of what's to happen. Repayments could potentially be in any type of value, including equity at this point. And that kind of goes back to they don't really have a plan at this point that is put in place. So those of you out there that had an account on Celsius, the future of being paid out from that account could be ending up with equity in the company itself. They're currently looking at clawbacks, which would essentially be looking at those that got out before the closure of Celsius, pausing all, all of those accounts, and evaluating if they owe the rest of the customers some of their funds back, including those that went from earned to custody accounts right before pausing all of these accounts. The next court date is going to be on October 7th, Equity holders have sought to form another committee that would be paid for by the estate, meaning Celsius, which could mean less money for those of you out there that are account holders. The UCC actually objected to that motion, though, saying that equity holders have the means to pay for their own legal team and banking services. So they're completely against starting another committee specifically for the equity holders out there, citing that they have millions of dollars that they could throw at supporting their own case. So they think that it would be wasteful spending to do that. The UCC is currently under a non-disclosure agreement to talk about the mining business plan, and that includes the risk factors. However, they did mention that these risk factors that they're presenting have appeared in other mining operations out there for other mining businesses. So if you want to look at specific risk factors that occur from mining operations, then look no further than other mining businesses that are available on the market. They talked very briefly about the Kelvin plan, which I believe was mentioned previously by other people as the whole idea of creating an IOU token that is essentially there to say, hey, we owe you this money as an account holder. This is just a placeholder. 
They're currently working on streamlining the claims process, which is what will be needed to get paid back as an unsecured creditor. So they want to make that as easy as possible. They've talked about making it as simple as going on your phone and clicking uh, claim. They're trying their best to maintain privacy in the court case, but your names and your account holdings have had to be shown to the court. So that privacy has been broken. But as far as address, phone number, things like that, none of that has been shown to the court at this point. And they don't plan on making that sort of information public at this time. Celsius has paused all loans and all liquidations have been halted, meaning that if you had a loan on their marketplace and you would have been liquidated in current market circumstances, then you were not liquidated. They have been paused altogether until Celsius sorts all of this mess out. So the UCC, that was one of the things that they worked with Celsius on. And uh, I think that that's a really good move in the right direction. ETH merge tokens could potentially be sold to pay back creditors. So any of those tokens that would have been made from the merge because of ETH hard forks that occurred, those could be used to, to sell as collateral for paying back all of their creditors that they owe. The UCC has asked the court to not pay out the custody, the custody customers at this time until all assets can be accounted for and determined that everyone gets their fair share. We talked a little bit about those clawbacks and how those could affect people that got out before the closure of the app, but this is saying that those that haven't been paid, custody customers that haven't been paid out what they're owed, they're asking the court to make sure that that continues on. They don't want them to get paid out until everybody can get their fair share in the assets that are still available. One more thing that they mentioned about equity was that Alex Mashinsky, the previous CEO, is currently the largest shareholder, even though he's no longer the CEO. But they wanted to stress that even though he is the largest shareholder, he does not really have power to make changes at this point in the company. And they stressed that because they want people to know that they're moving in the right direction, that the business is going to, I guess, move on without him. And then the last thing that I wanted to touch on was a user named Plan C on Twitter brought up a really good point saying that if clawbacks are implemented, then C5 would never be used again because. If you think about it, anybody that invested and was able to pull their money off, they got their money back, and then the court rules that they have to give some of that money back to Celsius to pay other customers, that's going to completely ruin all trust that was there. And because of that, he was basically saying that these clawbacks would ruin all trust in the future for any C5 platforms that try to come about. But I think at this point, all trust has already been lost with C5 platforms. If you look at any of the C5 platforms that are available, all of them have done very piss poor as far as management goes. And I wouldn't trust any of them at this point with a 10 foot pole, which goes on to show why Satoshi was so right about self-custody. Owning your own assets, being your own bank, is the way. That's what he initially intended all of us to do anyways. So we drifted so far from that, and this is what's become of it.
On top of that, I read an article yesterday saying that FTX could be potentially buying the assets from Celsius. This is completely unconfirmed by both Celsius and FTX, so take that with a grain of salt. However, it could be good news for them. But that is what I broke down from the entire recording of that town hall yesterday. That's going to be it for this one, guys. If you enjoyed today's video and it helped you out in any way, shape or form, please hit that like button below. It really helps my channel out. And if you haven't already subscribed, then you're definitely missing out because I post crypto content daily. I really do. And it's pretty fire. Not going to lie. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Crypto Clay, out.